Alright, hi guys. Um, I realise that some of you want to know how I was getting these specs about 20 to 30 FPS on Zelda Breath of the Wild on the emulator on Semu. So I'm just going to show you a few settings which will, you know, get you up to that standard if you're struggling. Um, there are quite a few workarounds to get you up to that standard, so I'm just going to start off with the basic. So go onto your desktop, NVIDIA control panel. Wait for that to open up. Could take a while on my computer. Right, then you want to go to program settings because you do not want to be changing your overall settings. So program settings. Add. And this is on manage 3D settings. Alright, then you want to scroll down until you see Semo Wii U Emulator. So click that one, add select program, and boom, this is all my settings. So th this should all stay the same, but when you go down, I'll show you which ones are different, are these ones. So you want your shader cache off, uh, texture filtering on, you want it on texture filtering on high performance, uh, on threaded optimization on triple buffering. Now this don't hasn't been this can be on or off. I have it on, but this doesn't really affect uh, frames. It hasn't really made any effect for me. I just like having it on, and I'll turn your vertical sync off. So I'll just leave this up here for a few seconds, just so you can see it and change it. Uh, you can pause the video if you want for this part. Next up, we want to fill our shader cache. Now this is super important, so you don't get really stuttery FPS and you're dropping down to three, five, making it almost unplayable. So to get this, you want to go onto Google. Just open that up. Click in Reddit. Semu shader. Oh. Shader cache. All right. So click that in. This is the first link, Reddit Semu Caches, click on this. Now this will be for any game for um, Semu, but we want to find Zelda. So when we go down here, it says partial 17k cachaders. Now this is uh, brilliant, I've been using it everywhere with zero problems at the moment. Uh, there are more, so if you want to find a bigger one, you can, but this is just the easiest one to go to. You want to click on this. It should open up this, and you'll have a drive Google, and you just click on that. Now I've already downloaded this, but all you have to do is click the download button here, it will open up and download. Right, after that's downloaded, you want to navigate to your download folder, so just if you want to know where it is, PC, and you want to go to downloads, and then there it is. So it's in a notepad here. Now you want to drag this onto your desktop to make everything a lot easier for you. Now what I like to do here is just right click it and then you need either WinRAR or 7-zip. Now I'm assuming you have WinRAR or 7-zip. If you don't, I'm not going to show you how to download it because there's plenty of tutorials out there and all you have to really do is take WinRAR or 7-zip. Uh, just go find it at legitimate source. There's loads. Um, so once you've got that and you're back at this point, just 7-zip extract the files, this will be the same for WinRAR, just be extract the files, extract here, boom, right, so now we can get rid of that one, delete that, and you have your shader cache here, so what you want to do next, is you want to go into your semi folder, so here's your semi folder, open this up, and you see this shader cache right here, go into this one, transferable, and then you just want to drag, and whack that one in there. See, I've already have it there, if you see. The car, that's the exact same one, right there. So all you want to do is drag that in there, and boom, you're done. And that basically means, once you open up your semi, I'll just quickly show you that. Open it up, load, get into Zelda, and boom, it should be like this. Now when you first do it, it will take about 10 maybe 20 minutes but after that you'll see it'll go around this pace this is with 16 gigabytes of ram if you have eight it will take longer but um yeah this is pretty much how fast it will be once you've done it once just remember right, it'll take up next is the biggest frame per second booster you're gonna get right here so you go open google google and what you want to type in here is semu hook and it's the first link here sssh.nuke.net it's completely legitimate, don't worry. Click on this one. 
and as you'll see it will come up all these zip folders here so obviously the old versions, new versions, whatever. What you're going to do is click on this one, the latest version. It's going to download the zip here. Boom. You're going to open that up. Now just minimize your internet and here it is. You want to drag this. Boom. Alright. Close that one. And this is the semi hook. Now this what this is, it unlocks the vertical sync which is in Zelda so it kind of you know in semi sorry so it unlocks it allowing you to get higher FPS so you're not always being stuck on if your reason you're always stuck on 15 FPS is because of the internal vsync in semi so it just, it just gets rid of it so what you want to do is click on semi and all you're gonna do is drag this one here that's all, all you have to do all right all you have to do as you see it's right there for me nothing else you have to do so just drag it in there and boom and I'll just show you how to use that in semi because some people <laughs> do get that wrong so what you want to be doing then semi open let's load in Zelda for example and over here you will say you want to be make sure this is disabled do not put vsync on because it will stop the this uh, semi hack working. So the here it is. This is what will be up. Options, GTX setup, GPU fence skip hack, and this will allow you to get past the VSync. Um, just to make sure, your semi should look like should look like this. All right. So it has semi semi plugin 0.3.30 by Raj, and they'll have the link to the website there all right so if your semi looks like this you're all good to go now i do know that people are having problems not on windows 10 like windows 7 and stuff with this hook so if it is not working or it's crashing your semi or anything like that then all you have to do is just you take it out all right so you just click on it and you can drag it out and that's it you'll be back to the normal one so next up we have right, so completely optional right you do not need these uh with once you've got the shader cache the semi hook and the nvidia settings these are not needed however if you really want to smooth out stuff or maybe it's not really working how you want it these optional things can maybe make the game more playable for you so what you want to do you want to go to google let's get google up again and you want to type in g engine right here g engine click here now i want to warn everyone here that g engine is completely legitimate However, when you're downloading Cheat Engine 6.6, I'm not going to show you the other tutorials, but when you download it, I want to say there are, um, what I would say, they try to get you to uninstall other kind of stuff like adware and stuff. So really make sure if you're installing Cheat Engine, please make sure you are checking the boxes and you're not rushing through it because, you know, as I say, I've got it and I didn't rush through it and it's completely fine. It's working absolutely how intended. I'll just show you. Uh, it's inspired but this just means you can't use all the features the feature you want to use is something called a speed enable speed hack and that works without the license all right so the license is just if you want to do like more advanced hacking and stuff but uh, like cheating in games but yeah I'm not I don't do that stuff so yeah just I just use the uh, speed hack but like I said, please be careful when you download this because the, it does try to get you to install like two or three other random pieces of crap you do not want on your system. But um, if you are careful, then you know, and you just take your time, you won't install that crap and you'll just get the completely legitimate software. Alright? So that's Cheat Engine. Uh, I will actually just show you quickly how, to, how it works because you might not know. Just see you on your Semu. Do, do, do. I'll skip this out bit when it's loading in. So, welcome back. I'm just going to show you what Cheat Engine is. So, as you see, I'm in the normal with the GPU fence skip pack on. And this is normal. Just running around. This is definitely a pretty demanding area. So, you do see quite a lot of performance drop in this part. Oh, uh, this is what basically happened. I just loaded up the game. So sometimes it just takes a while to warm up so all you do is you have your cheat engine you just opened it up so double click cheat engine open it up you want to click this top left it'll be highlighted up here for you Come on that one. then you want to find semu so where are you oh have I gone past it 
It seems I have. There it is. You want to open that up. And all you want to do is enable speedback. Just ignore this. This is none important. You're not going to be using any of this. Just enable speed hack. Click it on. So this is default speed 1.0. But I'm just going to show you an example. Some people do this. Obviously, you didn't see this in my video, but I'll show you what 2. Points. So this drops. Now, what this does is speed up the game engine so it's twice as fast. So as you can see, it kind of makes it a lot smoother. Oh, unfortunately, I'm my computer is really warming up today. But as you can see, just getting out. Like it just makes the game a lot smoother. Like when you're running around. But obviously it does make Link look a bit, <laughs> you know, it, it looks pretty crazy. But, um, yeah, and then I'll just show you, you can also do something like this, where it changes cheat engine down to 0 0.9, so you lose 10%, so your game is about 10% slower. But what this does is it gives you more frames. So, you know, it gives you an extra 4 or 5 frames. Um, I'm using the patch 1.1 on this and honestly it's decreased my performance so I'm probably going to be deleting that patch but um, as you can see it's not too horrendous and I know this, <laughs> this is definitely not looking the best but yeah on 1.1 this seems to affect this kind of stuttering quite a lot. All right. So lastly, for the optional performance increasing enhancing boost for Breath of the Wild, you want to be grabbing MSI Afterburner with a River Tuner. And what this enables you to do is lock the frame rate. So this is quite useful for if you want to lock the frame rate. So let's say your system's getting anywhere between 18 and 25 FPS or 26 FPS, and it's creating this really jittery. It's always changing. What this does is it allows you to lock the frame rate, right? So you can lock it to 20, and you can be getting a stable 18 to 20 across the board. Um, I'm going to link this in the description, so just go down to the description to find this link. It will be just this one here, just because it's easier for you guys to get to the legitimate download then. Um, so what you want to do, MSI Afterburner, and this will come packaged with a um, River Tuner as well. You want to scroll down all the way to the bottom, and as you see, this is all the different builds, and you want to get in the final, you know, 4.3.0 stable final build. Now, I already have this installed, but what I will tell you is, you click on this. I'll go through it with you. It will go to this page, and it will open in about five seconds. It will open it up. Here it is. Guru MSI it right there. And you click on that, and you'll see MSI Afterburner Setup 430. Right, so all you want to do here is double click this, and it'll ask, um, do you want to extract all the files? And you want to click yes, so you can, it will have extract all files on a pop up there. Boom, and it'll up, and then it'll still have this, but this will change into an actual thing. Double click this, and it will go into the setup. This has no additional bundleware or any of that crap, it's just the straight River Tuner and MSI Afterburner. Uh, um, MSI Afterburner is also used to like overclock your system, so like CPU, uh, your GPU, stuff like that. Um, I would actually say if you have a K processor, I'm just going to link this with this part, is that you might want to look into overclocking it or over looking into if you can overclock your CPU if you want extra performance because emulators and semu are very CPU heavy so they don't use much of a GPU so you, know, you don't even need a 970 you can have a 950 and it'll work absolutely fine it's just CPU wise um, so yeah look into that guys if you really want to get in like the solid 30 FPS's that the, the few beastly machines out there can so I hope that helped um, I know I didn't show how to download absolutely everything but that's purely because on the optionals like like I said they're optional and I don't really want to go for the cheat engine stuff again because you know, I've already got it and it's just a bit of a, a bit of annoyance and I don't want to overwrite any files for MSI afterburner so but as I said if you follow the instructions 
this is a nice easy one to do all right so i hope that helped guys um if you really enjoyed the video or it helped you out please press the thumbs up or uh, um subscribe that would be brilliant i am going to be keeping up with semi with breath of the wild so if you want all the updates and how to get the best performance out of it on a mid-range rig and above then stay tuned because i will definitely be keeping up to date with that and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed bye